If you're like me, you have some wired USB peripherals, mouse, keyboard, game controller that you prefer to use, and you might even like that it's wired most of the time, but sometimes the limitation of needing to be plugged in can be, well, limiting. So we're going to use a Raspberry Pi Pico W to turn any wired input device into a Bluetooth low energy device so that we can use it over Bluetooth. The Raspberry Pi Pico W is an inexpensive microcontroller with a few cool features. The micro USB port can be used either as a USB client or USB host, but thanks to its PIO, it has the ability to add a second USB interface. This can be helpful when you want a device that can both receive USB input while also sending USB output. For example, I've used the non-W Raspberry Pi Pico to pass through keyboard input while also controlling the RGB lighting to automatically adjust with the ambient brightness. The Pico W also adds Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We won't need two USB interfaces for this project. We'll make use of one to receive inputs from a human interface device and then use the Bluetooth module to send those inputs over a Bluetooth low energy connection. While we can connect the peripheral to the micro USB port on the Pico W using a USB OTG cable, we still need to add a connection to power it. So instead, I'm going to take a USB extension cable, cut it in half, and attach the two halves to the microcontroller. After stripping the outer insulation of the USB cable, there are four separate wires for USB, 5 volt power, ground, data plus, and data minus. These are usually red, black, green, and white. The 5 volt will get connected to VBUS, the ground to any ground pin or the ground test pad on the back of the board. And in principle, the data cables for the female USB socket can be directly wired to the USB test points on the back for the native USB controller, but the RP2040 chip in the Pico and Pico W have a flaw in the USB, and I found that using the PIO implementation is more reliable for the host side. So for the female side of the cable, we're going to instead attach the green to pin 1, or GP0, and the white to pin 2, or GP1. Since we have a perfectly good male end of the USB cable, we can also connect those to the native USB port so that we don't need a separate micro USB cable to upload the firmware or to provide USB power. On the cable with the male USB plug, the green connects to test point 3 or TP3 and the white to TP2, both are on the back, while the red and black connect to the same places as the female port side. To download the firmware, visit the address on the screen and navigate to releases to download the latest firmware file. To install, hold down the boot select button while plugging the USB cable into a computer. A USB storage device should show up. Copy the firmware over to this USB drive then unmount it to finish installing. To use it, simply plug in the male end into any USB power source. For wireless operation, a small power bank is handy. Then plug in your USB device into the female USB socket. When it's ready to pair, the onboard LED will turn on. Pair your computer, laptop, tablet, or other device to the Pico W. The LED will briefly turn off, and then it will turn on again when it's paired and ready to receive inputs. For game controllers, it should work in direct input mode, so if it supports X input and direct input, then make sure to switch it to direct input first. Before discussing the limitations, here's a short primer on how USB input devices work. A USB input device, called a human interface device, or HID for short, sends HID input reports to the host. The HID report descriptor, which is read when the peripheral is plugged in, tells the recipient how to interpret those HID reports as key or button presses, mouse or joystick movements, and so on. Many modern peripherals, especially those with extra features like volume knobs or RGB lighting, they pose as multiple input devices with each sub-device represented as a different report ID or interface. So the firmware instructs the Pico W to read the HID or report descriptor from the input device, and if it provides multiple descriptors, combines them into a single descriptor with new report IDs. The Bluetooth chip then advertises itself as an input device with this new modified HID report descriptor. And when the Pico W receives an HID report from the peripheral, it translates the interface and report ID from the input device to the Bluetooth report ID, then forwards that over the BLE connection. This allows the Pico W to mimic any human interface device over Bluetooth. The code supports plugging in multiple devices using a USB hub, as long as you plug them in one at a time. But Bluetooth Low Energy only allows HID report descriptors up to 512 bytes in length. So particularly with modern gaming peripherals that appear as many individual interfaces, many of which they don't even use, this takes up precious available space in the report descriptor. So you may be limited to only two to three devices, even if your USB hub has additional ports. Also, the operating system may have a hard time interpreting the combined report if it sees multiple sub-devices of the same type. If you have an HID peripheral that draws a lot of power, for example, a RGB keyboard with a lot of LEDs, 
There may also be problems with reading the HID report descriptor due to the surge in power when plugging in. This issue becomes particularly pronounced when trying to plug in multiple devices through a hub. So to prevent this, it's recommended to turn off any LEDs before plugging into the Pico W if possible. The ability to provide consistent power will also depend on the power source used. So try different power banks if you have any problems. Additionally, this uses the newer Bluetooth low energy. So the device you want to connect to will need to support that protocol, which requires at least Bluetooth 4.0. Although not all Bluetooth chips support BLE, even if they are 4.0 or higher. Overall, this should work with a wide range of input devices to allow you to use your favorite mouse, keyboard, controller, or other wired USB HID peripheral over BLE.